What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to talk about my favorite emulation front end for Windows. This is known as LaunchBox. Now I do want to get this out of the way before we get started. I'm not being paid to make this video whatsoever. I do do their official tutorials over on their YouTube channel, but I'm not getting paid to make this video on my channel. I've personally been using LaunchBox and BigBox for a few years now, and I truly believe that this is the best front end for Windows. I've tried everything else out there, and I'm not going to name any names, but this comes down to be my favorite. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that love LaunchBox and BigBox just as well. One of the big reasons I think this is the best is the updates. At least once a month, there's a new release of LaunchBox and BigBox with a lot of fixes, improvements, and overall new features. In the past few months, there's been a lot added to LaunchBox and BigBox, and I kind of want to go over some of them, like the Easy Mame import, pause screens, start screens, a new theme manager. There's just a lot of great stuff that's been integrated into LaunchBox and BigBox. But I'll tell you what, the number one reason I like LaunchBox so much and I think it's the best emulation front end for Windows is the ease of use. You can have your first set of games imported in under five minutes and then just go from there. You can have a full library in a whole day. It'll automatically download all of your metadata, box art, and videos. And if you link it up with EMU movies inside of LaunchBox, you can get even more out of it. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the awesome features that are included with LaunchBox and BigBox, and then I'm going to do a quick setup. I'm going to show you guys how to get up and running in five minutes with your first set of imported games. We're just going to import SNES, and I'll show you how easy it is. So the first thing to note is that LaunchBox has two versions. There's a free version. You can go ahead and download that. You're going to have the LaunchBox interface. You can import your games. You can start playing. You'll download your metadata and box art from there. There's also a paid premium version, which is located here. Now this is going to include all the new features inside of BigBox and LaunchBox, plus you get BigBox, which is a beautiful interface for launching your games, and I'll show that off in just a second. The regular license, which is good for a year, is $20, and then from then on, if you want to renew for another year, it's $10, or you can upgrade for $30. There's also the Forever Updates license, which is totally worth it. It's $50, you're going to be able to use BigBox and LaunchBox forever. All the latest premium features will be available to you. And like I mentioned, you'll also have access to BigBox forever. And this is, I think, the best deal here. But if you want to try it out, there is a $20 option for a year. I completely understand that there are free options out there. And if you don't want to pay anything for BigBox, you can go ahead and try something else. It's totally up to you. But I can guarantee you that all of the free ones will never have as many updates or new features that LaunchBox does. It's always being updated, there's always new features added, and I think the price tag is well worth it to help support the developer. Over the years, I've seen a lot of front ends go stagnant. You know, you'll have a release, it's a nice front end, and then you'll never have an update, or you'll have very rare updates once or twice a year, and then nobody's ever really supporting that front end anymore. I personally don't mind paying for something that I'm going to use as long as I know that this money is going to go towards development. And that's what LaunchBox and BigBox does. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the free version of LaunchBox before we get into the awesome features that are included with the premium version and BigBox. When you're using the free version, it's going to look something like this. You can import all of your games here. You can set up whatever emulators you'd like, and you can launch them directly from here. Over on the right hand side, we have our platform category, or we could change it to play mode, playlist, portable, publisher. There's so much in here, it's really hard to go over every single feature that's included, even with the free version. If we click on a game, we'll have some information over here as long as you've imported everything correctly and it's downloaded the metadata for us. We also have the community star rating from the LaunchBox forums. You can rate your own games from within here, and it'll be put into the database. Setting up your emulators and games is really easy inside a launch box. We're going to go up to these three bars here, Tools, and we can import GOG Games, MAME Arcade Full Set. Now I've done a full tutorial on this in the past, I'll leave a link in the description, but this is the easiest way to get MAME up and running on your PC with a nice front end like this. We can import our MS-DOS games, ROM files, and speaking of ROM files, in order to play those, you will have to set up your own emulators. We're going to go to Manage Emulators. Up here, I have a few emulators already pre-installed ready to go, but if I wanted to add one, I'll just click Add. You can add your own that you download, or there are links here. So let's say we wanted to set up Dolphin. We're going to click on this. Click here to download Dolphin. That's going to bring us to the Dolphin website. You can go ahead and download the latest version place it where you need to, and then we'll have to tell LaunchBox where it is. As soon as we have this set up, it'll look something like this. Name of the emulator, emulator path, 
and my associated platform, Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii. So this is the emulator I'm going to be using when I import my Nintendo GameCube and Wii games. It's actually really simple to do. As soon as you do one or two, you'll get the hang of it real quick. Now, if you're using the premium version of LaunchBox, you also have access to Big Box. This can also be customized with the premium version. There are themes available. I'll swap out real quick before we go into Big Box. I'll go to Tools, Options, Visuals. As you can see, I'm set at default, but I'm going to go with Neon Deluxe Arcade. I'll click OK. And now we have a new look to LaunchBox. Now, personally, I use Big Box most of the time. This is actually set up on two of my arcade machines and all of my PCs. In order to access Big Box, you can launch it from within LaunchBox, or we can set up a shortcut. And this is Big Box. I got all of the games I want already set up in here. I'm going to go back to Genesis. I'll enter this menu. You can use a keyboard or a controller. As you can see, I got all of my box art and my videos. Now this is known as the unified theme and there are a lot of themes to download. And with the recent release of LaunchBox, there's a manage theme option. So I have six installed. There are 13 available right now on here, but you can also go to the website and download some that aren't available inside of the launcher as of making this video. Let's say I wanted to set up a different one. I'm gonna install. It's going to automatically download it and install it for me. And now, all I need to do is apply it as my main theme. So when I go back, we'll have a totally new look. One of my favorites is just the stock theme. I'm going to go back to my Manage Themes. I already have it installed. Critical Zone version 2, default. Apply as my main theme. And there we have it. This is the normal look of Big Box as soon as you install it. You'll have this as your default theme, but like I showed you, you can download more. Let's go ahead and get into a game. One of the newest features that I personally love is the pause screen option. I'll just go with Batman Returns. We're going to start the game. Give us some nice loading screens. I'm using RetroArch as my emulator for this. But I've also set up a hotkey. So if I hold select on my controller and press start, it's going to bring me to my pause menu. The game's paused in the background right now. We can reset the game, save state, load state, exit game, or resume the game. So this is now a premium feature in LaunchBox and Big Box, and I think it's one of the best ones out there so far. So we can save our state if we want to. I can actually go back and load that back up. Or exit. And upon exit, we'll have our game over screens. All right, so now I'm going to give you a quick rundown on importing your first set of games into LaunchBox. This is really easy to do. We're going to be covering SNES real quick. Got some games here. You can leave them zipped. There's a few different emulators we can use, but the first thing you're going to need is to download LaunchBox. Put your email in here. It's going to send you a link for the download. Go ahead and install it. I have a fresh install right here. You'll be greeted with a welcome screen. You can always turn this off if you don't want to see it, but I recommend leaving it on because you'll see some updates here and there throughout this welcome screen. So the first thing we need to do is set up our emulator. We're going to be using SNES 9X for these SNES games. So we're going to head over here. We're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators. I'm going to click Add. From the drop-down menu, I'm just going to find SNES 9X. Now, there are other emulators you can use, like RetroArch, but we're going to be sticking with this one here. Click here to download SNES 9X. This is just going to bring you to the website. You can always go here on your own and place it in the correct location. I'm going to go for Downloads. There's a few spots we can download this from, but I'm going to go with SNES 9X 1.6. I'm going with the 64-bit version. So now I have it downloaded. I need to extract this. I'm going to right click, 
and I'm going to extract it. So inside of here, we have the emulator ready to go. But I want to place this in my LaunchBox directory. That way, if I ever want to move my LaunchBox build to an external hard drive, everything's in one place. When you initially install LaunchBox, it's going to be located on your C drive, Users, Username, LaunchBox. Inside of here, I'm going to create two folders, just to make it easy. I'm going to call one Games, and I'm going to call one Emulators. So now I'm going to place the SNES 9X folder in my Emulators folder. So I'll go back to my downloads or wherever you downloaded it to. I'm going to place it right here. Like I said, this is just going to keep everything together in case we ever want to transfer our build over. So now we can head back to LaunchBox. We're going to tell LaunchBox where the application is. So I'm going to go to Browse. You should automatically be in your LaunchBox folder. Emulators, SNES 9X. And I want to show all files here. We're going to go with the EXE. Associated Platforms, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So all we need to do now is click OK and close. It's time to import our games. From the drop down menu, Tools, Import, ROM Files. Go ahead and read through this. This is the Game Import Wizard. We'll click Next. I'm going to add a folder, and that folder is going to be my SNES folder that I had on my desktop. So I'll go to Desktop, SNES. Click OK. All my games are in there. LaunchBox is automatically going to sort it out for me. Click Next. What platform are you importing games for? Super Nintendo. We can use the drop down or you can type it out up top. Super Nintendo. Next. Choose an emulator. Should already be chosen here because that's what we're going to be using SNES 9X. Click Next. Copy the files into your LaunchBox games folder. Yes. I want to search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database. I definitely want to do this. This is going to go ahead and download our metadata. Click Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes, I would. I'm going to leave everything checked here. I did mention that you could add EMU movies to LaunchBox, and I definitely recommend doing it. Go ahead and create a free account over there. I'll leave a link in the description. They also offer a donation option. I'm going to leave this blank for now because we're on the free version of LaunchBox. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for SNES 9X. Click Next. It's going to show us the name of the game and the location, plus the extension. Mine are all zipped. Click Finish. LaunchBox is now going to download all of our metadata and box art. Give it a little time to finish up. I'm importing about 100 games here. So my games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. And as you can see, got all of my box art. All we need to do now is double click on a game and start playing. We can also change the way this looks by go to Image Group, 3D Boxes, which I personally like. I'm going to go ahead and find a game. I'm going to go ahead and start up one of my favorite games, Joe and Mac. And we're now playing. Now, if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation so we can exit back into LaunchBox from our controller. If not, you can just press escape on your keyboard. It's going to kill that emulator, and we're back into LaunchBox. It's really that easy to set up and use. You can also check out their YouTube channel. There's tons of tutorials over there, or sign up for the forum if you run into any issues. Now, there's a lot of features built in here that I'm just not going to be able to go over in this video, but I really wanted to get this video out of the way because this is my personal favorite front end for Windows. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're running a laptop or a desktop PC with Windows 7, SP1, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10, definitely give LaunchBox a try, even if it's the free version. All links for everything mentioned in this video will be listed in the description below. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, but like always, thanks for watching.